And it is Monday, so let's do it. All right, everybody, find yourself in a nice, comfortable position. Hopefully you have a space where you're able to at least get your arms out or your body kind of stretched out a little bit. Uh, we are, little man is back to the preschool, so we're back in the living room, which is kind of exciting. We're gonna start today in our seated pose. Uh, we're gonna stay nice and low in all our poses. Today will be a slow kind of methodical practice. We're definitely gonna stick with the breathing techniques while holding our poses, okay? So it's not gonna be, uh, it's gonna be hot the yoga. It's not gonna be fast at all. Just really think about your pose, think about your body positioning, and then with each inhale and exhale, try to sink a little lower to those stretches. Don't be surprised, especially if you haven't practiced yoga over the entire break, if you have lost some of the flexibility or lost some of your range of motion, it will come back quicker than you expect it to, but you may have to ease your way into it, and that includes me as well. So find yourself in seated pose. Remember, we want a nice strong chest, shoulders are back, and the crown of the head is reaching to the ceiling. Uh, legs crossed if you can, but if you have any knee issues, go ahead and feel free to straighten those out or hip issues. Um, I like to rest my hands up on my knees. It's really up to you where you like to put them. Some people like to put them down below, out to the sides, wherever you're comfortable. Uh, we had moved pretty well with our progression of breathing um, before break, but we're going to kind of backtrack a little bit. So we're going to just go with sevens. We're going to start with a seven on this Monday, and you're just breathing in. I like to count one as I breathe in, and you're breathing out. And I also like to count one as I breathe out. And you're trying to get your way up to seven uninterrupted breaths. Now, the reality is most likely you'll get interrupted, whether it's something going on in your house, my voice, um, or if it's a thought, and that's okay. Being distracted is perfectly normal. What I want you to do is note that distraction, try and see kind of what it is that's distracting you, and then try to put it aside just for this time when we're practicing our mindfulness. So let's find that good, comfortable position and on your own, take a deep breath in. Slowly exhale out. Feel the shoulders, ribs, lungs, and diaphragm relax. Let's try to get to seven uninterrupted breaths. get to the end of that seventh breath or at least close to it go ahead and slowly open your eyes so you can find your place that you're going on your mat take a deep breath in as you exhale roll the body forward place the palms into the mat have your knees come below your hips palms below your shoulders nice flat spine we're going to reach the crown of our head forward we're going to stretch the tailbone back pull that belly button way up like you're trying to pull it in through your spine and we're going to hold and breathe in table pose. With each breath, try to make a longer, straighter spine. On your next inhale, round the spine up like you're trying to reach that spine up towards the ceiling, tucking the head between the shoulders, tailbone between the hips. As you get to the max of your inhale, exhale, pressing the belly button towards the ground, tilting the head and tailbone towards the ceiling. On your own, let's go with three more rotations of cat and cow.
come back to neutral. Tuck the toes underneath. It's been a little while, so think about your form. Inhale, we're gonna roll those hips forward, raising up off the knees. Exhale, press the hips up towards the ceiling. Drop that head down between the shoulders and let's walk those knees. It's been a little while since we've been in downward dog. So I really want you to work at reaching each individual heel towards the mat, stretch out those hamstrings. Don't forget to breathe. Inhale, raise that left leg up. Exhale, swing the left leg between the hands, lower that back knee down. Let the weight of your chest rest down onto the knee. If you can, and if you still have that balance, draw the hands behind the back, press the hips down and forward. We're gonna hold low lunge, trying to carry a flat back. Breathe. With each breath, feel yourself sink. It's been a little while since we've done yoga. You're really gonna feel this stretch today. Good. Inhale, place your hands down on the floor. Exhale, slight lean into that knee. We're gonna inhale, we're gonna roll our hips back, pointing that toe up towards the ceiling, trying to keep our chest as close to our knee as we can. So we roll into half split, you're gonna get as low as you can, but once you feel that chest pulling up and away, then I want you to inhale, or sorry, exhale back. Sorry, let people in. Once we hit your inhale maximum point, you're gonna exhale forward into low lunge again. And on your own, we're gonna rotate back and forth, using our breathing between low lunge and half split. Try to get a little lower with each rotation. We're gonna go three more on your own. Breathe. Last time. Come back up to low lunge. Inhale, let's walk that left hand to the inside. So our hand is nice and aligned with the leg. Exhale, press the hips down, raise the chest up. Lizard pose. Good deep breaths. Inhale, wrap that left hand around the leg. Okay, so we're curling around and through. Exhale, press the hips forward, lowering the spine down. If you can come down to one arm, that's great. Okay, but if you need to kind of balance yourself up, that's also okay. Low lizard. I'm applying a little bit of pressure against my calf, my forearm. I know that's really hard to see here on camera, but my foot's wrapped around, my forearm's against my calf. I'm gonna press forward to really increase that stretch. Inhale, raise the hips up. Exhale, unwind the hand, walking that left foot towards the middle. Now we're gonna go into low pigeon. So find that good positioning with your foot on where you want it. Closer to your body is easier. Farther up your mat or your space is gonna make it more of a stretch. It's gonna increase that stretch. Exhale, lower that left knee down, reach the right leg away. Let's go ahead and lower our bodies down into low pigeon. One of the big key reminders, I know I say it all the time, but it's important. We're not flopping our hip over to the ground, okay? I'm pushing slightly into my left hip, but my hips are up and they're square with my shoulders to really open up those hip flexors and a lot of the little gaps in our pelvic bone. Okay, new move today. Draw the hands into the body. All right, so my hands are gonna be nice and close. Some of us can put them on our ankle or shin. Others are gonna have to put them out to the side. It's whatever is most comfortable for you. You're gonna inhale, roll that spine up. Okay, so it's coming from low pigeon here. Nothing changes with my legs. I don't flop over on the hip. I just bring my hands to my body. Inhale, roll spine up. If your hips are up off the mat, okay, your foot is still across, hips are up off the mat. My right hip, I know you can't see it, or my left hip, I know you can't see it, but it's up you are really gonna feel the stretch in your hip flexors. It's an absolutely wonderful one. It really opens up the pelvic gaps as long as your ability to split 
uh, in your hip flexors. This is called full pigeon. It's one of my favorites. Exhale, roll the spine down. Inhale, roll that knee back up. We're coming back to low lunge. Exhale, slight lean into your low lunge. Inhale, roll the spine. Bring the hands nice and high above the head. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, sink those hips down. Check form today, lots of focus on form. So right now I'm looking at my right leg, it's nice and straight. My knee is back behind my toe. Shoulders are back, spine is tall. Low warrior one. Breathe and let those hips sink. Inhale, raise those hips up. Exhale, open right arm back, left arm forward. Sink hips down. Let those hips keep sinking. If you got to scoot that left toe forward, that's okay. My eyes are going the same direction as my chest. I'm really working on opening up that right shoulder. Low warrior two. Good. Inhale, raise the hips. Exhale, pivot that body back to the middle. Fold the spine down. Tuck the right toe underneath. Raise the knee. Slide that left foot back, and let's find ourselves in plank pose. Squeeze the cheeks, tighten the abs, hold the plank. Inhale, put the left arm in the mat. Exhale, roll the hips sideways, pressing the hips up in the air. This is side plank. Inhale, back to low plank. Exhale, place the hips on the mat. Bring the elbows tight, straighten the arms. Press the lower spine and belly button to the mat and we're gonna hold sphinx pose. Roll the neck. Go the other way. Good, exhale, lower down, draw the hands to the shoulders, inhale, press up. It's like an extended sphinx or cobra pose. Squeeze the butt, press the hips into the mat. Breathe. Inhale, raise hips up, and let's come back to table pose. A couple good deep breaths in table. Okay, I'm gonna walk my left hand a little bit in towards the middle for support. Inhale, I'm gonna round my spine, bring my left elbow, or my, yeah, my left knee and my right elbow. I'm gonna extend. <sighs> Try to point them as straight as I can, not kicking the furniture around me, and bird dog. <sighs> Breathe. Inhale back to the middle. Exhale, place it down on the mat. And bring that right hand in now. We're gonna work the opposite side. Again, rounding spine as I breathe in. Left elbow in, right knee. Exhale and extend. Bird dog. Inhale back to the middle. Exhale, place it on the mat. All right, I'm gonna physically turn my body. Doesn't mean you two. You need to, it's just for demonstration purposes. Now we're gonna work the opposite side. Okay, let's on your own, let's cat and cow again. Just get that spine. A lot of us probably haven't moved or stretched it, including me. In a couple weeks, let's go with three rotations on your own, cat and cow. Good. Come back to neutral. Tuck those toes underneath. Inhale, roll the hips forward. Exhale, press the hips back. Downward dog. Good. 
Breathe, really reach those heels. Head down between the shoulders, hips up in the air. Inhale, raise the right leg. Exhale, swing the right leg between the hands. Lower that left knee down. Let the weight of the body come down onto that thigh. Sorry, I'm trying to get myself camera ready again. Draw the hands behind the hips, press the hips down and forward, low lunge. Breathe. Inhale, drop the hands down to the mat. Exhale, let's walk that right hand to the inside now. Press the hips forward, eyes up, lizard pose. Really feel those hips sink as you breathe. Inhale, swing that right hand around the leg. Exhale, press the forearm against the calf. Lower the body down slightly in low lizard. Inhale, raise the hips. Draw the hand around back to the outside. Now we're gonna scoot that right leg in. We're gonna to go to low pigeon. So think about the position of the foot that's right for you. Exhale, fold that knee down. Roll the spine down into low pigeon. Same as the other side. We're slightly pressing into our right hip. Okay, we're not flopping, but we're up. We're pressing our hips back. And feeling that pelvic gap stretch. My hip flexors and hip rotators open as well. All right, just like last time, we're gonna hit high pigeon or just full pigeon. Draw the hands into the body. Inhale, roll that spine up. Again, if you have to have hands outside for balance, that's fine. Eventually you wanna work your hands into the middle let those hips sink towards the mat, and we're just gonna hold high pigeon. Exhale, fold the body down. Inhale, back up to low lunge. A little out of order, and that's okay. Inhale, slight lean. Exhale, roll those hips back, pointing that knee up at the ceiling, or toe up at the ceiling. Let your body sink as far as you comfortably can your exhale. Inhale, forward again into your low lunge. Let's go with four rotations on your own. Low lunge to half split. Lean into that low lunge when you get done with your four. Slight lean. And on our next inhale, we're going to roll that spine up. We're going to bring the hands nice and high above the head. Exhale, hands down. Nice straight spine. Knee is back behind the toe. Low warrior one. Inhale, raise the hips. Exhale, open, left arm back, right arm forward. Sink hips down again. Try to check your own camera if you can, just to see if you're nice and tall. Reach my hands, opening my left shoulder. Inhale, raise the hips up. Exhale, pivot back to the middle, fold back down. Tuck that toe underneath, raise the knee, slide that right foot back, 
plank pose. Hold, breathe. Drop that right hand down to the mat. Roll the body sideways, raise that left hand in the air, press the hips up. Side plank. All right, big transition. Inhale low, exhale the high. Hips up, elbows in, exhale crocodile. Inhale cobra. Good. Inhale, roll the hips up. Exhale, come back to table. Couple good deep breaths in table pose. Cross the ankles behind you. Walk the hands back. And let's find ourselves in seated pose. Let's sit up nice and tall. Big breath in. As you exhale, straighten out that right leg. Inhale, we're sitting up tall one more time. Bring that arm in a nice big arm circle. Try not to hit anything behind you. Reach that arm up towards the ceiling and then dive forward, pulling at the hips. Single leg fold. Head down by the shoulder will increase your stretch. We're just gonna hold. Stretch those hammies. Inhale, slight raise. Exhale, both hands out, grab that toe. If you can get a hold of the toe, press the toe away. Drop the head down between the shoulders. Inhale, roll the spine up. Exhale, bring that right leg across the top, but no, left leg across the top, tuck the right leg back. Inhale, sit up nice and tall, squeeze that knee to the chest, supine. Inhale, raise that right hand. Exhale, swing the right hand behind you, prop the left hand against the leg and press. Supine twist. Inhale back to the middle, drop that left leg down, bring the right leg next to it. Inhale, big arm circle, and we'll right into reach, 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 reach. Exhale and fold, single leg fold, left side. Inhale, roll the spine up. Exhale, both hands out, grabbing that toe, pressing away. Inhale, roll the spine up. Bring the right leg across top of the left, tuck the left leg back, sitting up nice and tall. Squeeze that right knee, supine. Breathe. Inhale, raise that left hand. Exhale, swing it behind the body. Prop with the right. Press. Supine twist. Don't forget to breathe. And a straight arm reminds us to have a straight spine. Inhale, back to the middle. Drop those feet down into a butterfly, scooting the butt forward. Wrap your hands underneath. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Try to flatten the spine. Exhale, fold at the hips. I like to walk my elbows out. You want to fold down just a little more, tucking the head into folded butterfly.
Inhale, roll the spine up. Stack the fingers, point the thumbs. Roll those shoulders forward, extending the arms. And we're gonna exhale, lowering the body down the mat. Try to go nice and slow. If you can keep your hands from touching the ground, that's great. We're trying to go vertebrae by vertebrae by vertebrae, using our abdominals to lower us all the way down until we come into a laying butterfly. Inhale, draw your feet a little closer. Say we're just gonna let gravity open up our hip flexors, stretch the groin, and we're gonna hold laying butterfly. Breathe. Exhale, extend the feet out in front. Inhale, let's raise the right leg first. Wrap your arms around the knee, shin, ankle, wherever you're comfortable. You're gonna squeeze that knee to the chest. Half windmaker. Make sure roll the ankle out. Relax your grip, keeping that left hand on the knee. Inhale, reach the right hand out to the side. Point that left toe away. We're going to keep our shoulder blades on the mat as we draw the knee across the body. If you feel your shoulder blades lifting up, stop your rotation. And then turn your eyes to gaze at that right hand. Bent knee twist. Inhale back up the middle. Exhale, extend that foot out in front. Let's work the other side now. Inhale, left leg, wrap the hands around the leg, squeeze. This should start to feel pretty familiar, but I know it's been a couple weeks. Roll that ankle and half wind maker. Inhale, reach that left hand out to the side. Bring the knee to about a 90 degree angle. And then we're gonna draw the knee across the body. Keep our eyes on that left hand, pointing that right foot away. Bent knee twist. Inhale that knee back up. Draw the right knee up into the air. Let's wrap our hands around both the knees. Squeeze nice and tight. Rock in front to back. Of course, in full windmaker. And extend the feet out in front. Find yourself in a nice, comfortable position on the ground. Allow your palms to come to rest face up. It's been a little while since we've completed our daily practice of mindfulness. As a reminder, though it may be difficult, this is not just supposed to be a time to sleep. I want you to focus on your thoughts. And I want you to focus on where your mind goes when you allow it to just wander and be free and try to keep it present in the here and now. You're going to find lots and lots and lots of different thoughts. The thoughts that you find that are negative or distracting or harmful thoughts. I want you to do your best to give yourself permission to let those thoughts go. And what I mean by that is not focus on them, push them to the side. I like to physically visualize the thoughts or the negativeness leaving my body, like through my fingertips, my toes, wherever you want it to be. Okay, that part's up to you. And then I want you to find something positive. This could be something that happened in the past. This could be something you're looking forward to. This could be a person, a place, a thing an idea, a song, a limerick, whatever it may be. I want you to find that thing that brings you joy. And by find it, I mean you're focusing your thoughts in your mind's eye on it. And I want you to focus on that joy. And I want you to surround your mind, your body, your breathing, everything with that joy. I want you to give yourself permission for five minutes to be okay with having your mind filled with something that makes you happy and give yourself permission to let go of any negativity. Again, I just wanna keep saying this. This might be too hippy-dippy for some of you. Totally understand. 
deep breathing lowers the blood pressure, helps your heart, and it can also help with your mental health as well. So there are physical and mental benefits to the acts of breathing and visualization. On your own, find that good positive thought as we enter relaxation time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and slowly sit back up, come back up to that nice seated position. Um, thank you. My daily affirmation, of course, is I appreciate all of you being here, whether you're alive or whether you're watching this on the record. Um, just thank you. I, I wish we were together. I miss even more now that we're in a new year, but just having this time with you guys today has just kind of brought back a little bit of that joy that I've been missing out on by not being able to do this with you. So namaste. 
my soul absolutely sees all of yours. Um, I hope you're doing well. I hope this new year has brought you some kind of hope and joy and we'll see how it goes. Uh, today's exit question. So whether you're watching this recording, whether you're live, this is how you get your third point in the chat. I need you to tell me something great that happened over break. This could be sleep. It could be nothing. You need to put something in the chat, but just tell me something great that happened over break. Todd, you raised your hand. I'm not sure if that was intentional, but it said you raised your hand. But so uh, I'm going to stop the recording here. If you're live with me, something great that happened over break. For me, it was uh, just spending a lot of time with my family and getting a lot of sleep as well as I ate my weight and just junk, which is exactly what I needed. So thank you guys for being here. I'm going to stop the recording and I will see you tomorrow.